Hey learners, hope you all are doing well. Today I have come with a new topic that is IDE. We are going to discuss what is IDE, what are the facilities IDE provide, what are the different IDEs for Python which are available and the famous IDE that is PyCharm. At the end I will be telling you how to install PyCharm and we will run one script in PyCharm. So without wasting time, let's start with the discussion on what is an IDE. Before telling you the definition of IDE, let's take a day-to-day example. We need many things for our day-to-day -day work. We need eatables, we need clothes, we need grocery, we need vegetables, many things. And if it's possible to get all these things under one roof, it will be icing on a cake. That's what IDE does in context to programming. So we can say IDE, that is Integrated Development Environment, it is a software which provides different programming tools under one graphical user interface. I guess you got it many tools which we need for our programming like we need an editor, a compiler, a debugger, typing assistant and many more things. All these facilities we get it under one software environment that is IDE. So let's see the definition. We can say an integrated development environment is a software that provides common application development tools into single graphical user interface. Now next we'll discuss about what are the common facilities which every IDE provide. The first facility is a text editor through which we can create our program source file. We can open old code facilities like cut, copy, paste, find, replace, etc. Second, a debugger. This is for finding out any logical errors. Then a facility like compiler, which is very important, a translator. Translator, which will translate your source code to machine code. Code completion. This is very much useful because it reduces many compiler errors. While typing, we need some help, like what all the arguments are to be passed to a function. So this facility gives you a small tip or whenever we need any members or properties of an object and you press dot, it will give you a list of all properties and methods. So this helps in coding. Then the facilities like language selection. Some IDEs are providing different language compilation under one roof which is also very beneficial integration and plugins like some facilities which are not already there you can add it later in your ide then what are the famous ides for python available in the market the top rated is pycharm we are also going to discuss today how to install pycharm and we'll run one script in pycharm then spider PyDev, Idle, which is default available with the Python installation, Wing, Eric Python, Rod Rodeo, Thony, which I have used. Few I have listed and the top rated is PyCharm. So let's discuss today how to download, install PyCharm and we'll see one script in this PyCharm, how to run the script in PyCharm. So guys, let's see PyCharm installation. Go to the browser. In the browser window, type download PyCharm. You'll get the first result. Click on that result. You'll see there are two types of PyCharm available. One is professional in which you can do all Python related activities. 
basic python web related database related mathematical operations but it is not free you get first a 30 days trial version and then you have to purchase it another one which is for community that is community python in which you can do pure python development so there are two types we will prefer downloading community i'll click on that now the download is started you can see the download is complete i'll click on that exe file this window come i'll click on run then next it is telling you the folder where it is going to get installed in my case program file jetbrains and in that one folder is created click on this all four check boxes it is telling you by what name it will be added in your program files now the installation is going on Now when this installation is complete, it will reboot your system. Then I will show you how to start PyCharm and then we will run first script in PyCharm. You can see guys, the installation is complete. I will click on reboot now and finish. Guys, now you can see that PyCharm is installed, see all programs, then JetBrains 1, entry is done. In that, I will click on PyCharm Community Edition. It is showing you a splash screen of PyCharm. This is the latest version of PyCharm. For the first time, it will show you two options. For the first time, we'll select do not import setting and OK. But next time, it will take the default setting. Now I'll click on skip and directly start with PyCharm. You can see it's asking to create a new project or open existing project. Now the first time we are going to create a new project. give name to the project all your project are getting saved in this folder you can change the location then it has selected the python interpreter also so already we have installed python interpreter For the first time, it will take it is showing you some tool tips. Now the loading is completed. You'll see that my proj one. That was the name given to my project. One project folder is created. Now we'll create one Python script file. Observe my project one project folder is created. Now, I'll right click on my proj 1. And new. And I'll take a Python file. I'll give name to the Python file. First, you don't have to give any extension because it will be by default saved with the extension .py. 
Now you can see an empty Python script file is created. I'll type a comment. Then I have given some two print statement. For more detail on print statement, do watch my Python series. We are taking in that Python series everything from the basic. Then we will run the script. You can run from here also. Or you can go to run and run. Now you'll see it is asking you which script. I'll click on first and can you see the result? That was all about PyCharm installation. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do it on your own. Try it. If you have any problems, please contact us. We are always there for your help. As always, keep learning, keep evolving. See you in the next video. Till then, subscribe, like, do share with your friends. See you in the next video. Thank you.